You're watching PNG Associates of America, where we show you how to play all your favorite metal tunes. From the pioneers of the technical death metal genre, creating five studio multi zillion selling platinum hits top ten gold albums in their short span, Poland's Decapitated and their most popular Spears of Madness from the album Nihility is one of the most popular technical death metal songs of all time, known for its catchy diminished riffs, complicated guitar lines, and heavy usage of palm muted and alternate picked patterns. This song will really help you clean up combinations of techniques whilst using heavy distortion, and gives you a feeling of accomplishment and self-worth that you most likely do not possess as of now. So let's get to it! To begin, the song is tuned to D standard. A good anagram to help recall this by is Dads get caught fucking after dinner. One more time, just to get this in your head. Dads get caught fucking after dinner. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? The first riff is entirely on the D string, low D string. It's pretty much just a lot of chugging, Paul palm muted. You have only one chord, it's the D power chord, 0, 2, 2, or is, is the tabs. And it's a lot of triplets and a lot of quadruplets. That's pretty much it. Any flurries that you encounter are just going to be all triplets, pretty much. So let me show you how that plays. Slow and fast. So this next riff is in a diminished scale. Um, you're playing only on the first three strings. And pretty much it's, it's all palm muted. It's not that fast or anything. Let me show you how it plays slowly and then fast. So probably one of the easiest riffs in this song is it involves only three chords, um, nothing really fast or anything. The first chord is a D power chord, 0, 2, 2. Then you have power chord on the third fret, low D string, and then the fourth, fourth fret, low D string. And so let me show you how that plays slow and then fast. Okay, so the next riff, and probably the hardest riff in the song, is again all diminished, and it starts off in the way that the last riff ended, which I'll show you how to play now. You got three and six on the low D string, next string up you have four and seven, next string up you have five and eight, and then next string up you have six and nine. You're playing pretty much only in those frets, and I'll show you how the pattern goes slowly and then fast.
All right, so the final riff in this song, um, also kind of hard. You have a lot of palm muting and a lot of switching between palm muting and open, open notes. Um, you have two chords on the second fret and then third fret on the low D string. And uh, all, the, all the frets that you will use are two and three on the low D string and then one, two, and then five on the next string up. So I'll show you how it's played slow and then faster. play the entire song with a backing track. All right, now it's time to play the entire thing with a backing track. <laughs> so pretty much what you do is, I mean, you'll get it. You just got to practice. Start off slow like with anything else. Just got to practice, start off slow. You get faster as you progress. All right? And then when you finish, you can show anyone. Show your, show your, your friends in front of a crowd. You can show your mom. Show your dad. Please show your dad when you finish. Do that for me. All right, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuck that. That's good enough. There's like a few small mess ups, but I think it'll be passable. Yeah. Hopefully. You think he did good? I, I don't know. I hope it's good enough to just like call it quits forever. Yeah. <laughs> you feel okay with what you did? Okay enough. Anything to say to the people on the internet? USA! USA number one! Give me body. Give me body. Your body. Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk.